you just put your hand underneath the seat and pull and it will lift up like that. What you're then looking for, once the seat's up, if you lift up the carpet, you'll see the lid for the fuel pump. There are three screws, the Phillips screws, crosshead screws that need to be removed, and then this will actually lift off, and you'll then see access to the fuel pump. And what you need to do this is a hammer and chisel. You'll see there are various notches around the edge of the cap for the pump, and we just need to gently tap so we're moving it round. This is rotating, so we just keep going until it undoes. So what we then need to do is just lift off these clips. Uh, the, this is the hoses that connect the fuel. Right, so this is undone, I'm just going to lift that out. And if you see at the side here, there's a pressure plate on the side of the fuel hoses and if you just push that in the hose should start to come out. I'm just going to tighten the connector off a bit. You see that pushing in and that little bit of wiggling and this hose should then come off like that. And the same with the other one. So we've now got the hose is clear and we can lift the fuel pump out. I'm using the tray that I normally use for oil changes and because this car is being scrapped I don't mind about the um, any oil or residues getting in the car but you might want something a bit cleaner. I'm just lifting out the pump now. And there is a gasket around that you just need to gently move out the way as well. If you move that up, you should then be able to lift the pump out. And you will find at the bottom there's an arm that you will need to move to be able to lift the pump out. And gradually you move if you tip it to the side you should be able to empty some of the fuel from within it and that will then give you access to be able to lift the float arm out as well. And we now have the fuel pump out. It's just about probably seeing there that we now have access to the fuel tank and we can get straight in and start draining this out. got a hose and I'm going to be putting um, one end in there and then using suction on the other end to pull the full fuel through into a filler can. 